So yesterday I was talking to this friend of mine who's this big, high-powered business person. And she loves the idea of drawing. And she's been telling herself for, for ages that she needs to clear some time so she can take some classes and just start doing it. And she's already bought a bunch of art supplies and a few sketchbooks and some instruction books, and even one of those wooden horse things that you can pose. And she tells me she'd like to draw faces, and she asks if I know any good classes that she could take. Duh. But, but instead of referring her to one of our classes at Sketchbook School, I say, you don't need a class. You need a letter opener. Huh? What? Yeah, so you can open all those boxes of pencils and watercolors that I can see in the background of our Zoom call stacked on top of her credenza. Sharpen some of those pencils and put that pristine sketchbook on the coffee table. And tonight when you're vegging out in front of the TV, just start drawing whatever's on the screen. Oh, easy for you to say, she tells me. Look, I say. The only way to start is to start. You don't need a class on starting. Here's your first drawing lesson. If you want to draw, you got to draw. Just plunge in and dirty some paper and turn the page and draw some more. Drawings are probably going to suck, but the fact is, well, the fact that you're doing it is what's awesome. And my friend is a smart and successful person. And for her, sucking at anything is really hard. But she promised to follow my advice for a week. It's a start. Let's see what happens. And I was talking to Rob about his watercolors last week. And I told him that, I'm sorry, but his colors looked really crappy and drab. What kind of paper are you using? I asked him. And he showed me the same kind of sketchbook that I like. And your paints, I said? Well, he said, you know, they're this set of uh, really cool um, Russian watercolors that I bought for $8. And he holds up this long tray with dozens and dozens of pans straight from the gulag or something made in a work camp back when Solzhenitsyn was still in short pants battleship gray and potato brown and khaki and gray snow and borscht. But he hastens to add, you know, I have a set of really nice Daniel Smith watercolors. They cost me like a hundred bucks. And? I don't know. I guess I'm saving them. <laughs> the rainy day is here, Rob. It's time to start. It's time to, to crack open the good stuff and to launch your journey like the like Queen Mother christening an ocean liner. Trust me, she doesn't use Prosecco or Siberian bubbly if there is such a thing. Even the most expensive paint is cheap when you amortize it over A, the number of gorgeous paintings that you're going to make, and B, the amount of joy that it's going to bring you. You gladly pay way more for a dinner or a pair of shoes, a, a facial, than we do for a brush that will last us until we're old and decrepit. Long after that meal has been pooped out and the shoes are crammed into the back of the closet and your pores have been refilled with gunk. You don't have to buy expensive art supplies, but if you've already paid for them, don't use the fact that they're special as some sort of an excuse to delay using them. By the time you've taken enough classes for your persnickety inner critic monkey to let you use the good stuff, they're all going to be dried up and useless anyway. There are so many reasons not to start. We worry that we don't have any ideas, that we have inspiration, that we have no time, that we have no talent, that we have no purpose. We have plenty of time to worry and plenty of talent for inventing excuses. But the fact is, no matter what you say, you just got to get going. Grab a chewed up number two pencil or a, a ballpoint pen from the kitchen counter and 
do a warm-up drawing or two. Draw your left hand with your right hand. Draw your spouse checking Facebook. Draw the art supplies that you haven't even tried yet. Draw a study of yourself as a great art artiste. All right. You've wasted enough time watching this video. Your break's over. Put off your procrastinating for later and get started now. There's nothing to wait for, my friend. The idea for this video started with one of the essays that I write every week. I write them just to send out to people who subscribe and they're free. And I do it for the same reason that I make YouTube videos because I have ideas and I really want to share them with you. You can get my essays too if you'd like. Just go to dannysessays.com, tell me where you want to get them, and I'll start sending them to you this week. I hope you do. Thanks for listening.